for inviting me to share how our team envisions supporting the state's historic investment in community schools. First and foremost, our technical assistance will be grounded in the four cornerstone commitments outlined in the state's framework. Commitments that are vital to embracing a multiracial democracy across our diverse state and disrupting the usual siloing of reforms. The technical assistance we're, we'll, we will provide will build on student, family, and community assets, will create and sustain racially just school cultures, will engage students in powerful, culturally rich learning experiences, and will ensure that school communities are part of the democratic process. To operationalize these com commitments, we will draw upon the complementary experience of four organizations to support the learning of regional and local community school leaders. As the lead county agency, Alameda County Office of Education will ensure that our technical assistance will seamlessly integrate into the state's larger system of support for education. As the state's higher education partner, UCLA will create community-based learning opportunities, as well as support the collection and use of data and stories to inform change. The NEA Community Schools Institute is currently a national hub for technical assistance with a wealth of resources and learning opportunities that we will adapt for California. And Californians for Justice engages young people to promote racial justice and improve their communities. Listening to student leaders will be essential to our statewide learning about how to transform the way young people experience school. As a team, leaders from our four organizations are meeting regularly to bring to life the shared vision we proposed for statewide learning and technical assistance. This vision includes building awareness about community schools, convening an advisory group, hosting webinars, and promoting learning on the ground through study tours and other opportunities. We will be releasing more details later this month about learning opportunities and resources for the current cohort of state grantees. In these early days, we encourage teams to spend time on the critical first stage of implementation, bringing people together to develop a shared community-based vision of schooling to guide your efforts. Have conversations with students, families, educators, partners, and others about what you value and what it will take to transform education in your community. We know from extensive research that unless we approach change together in community, the status quo and reform silos will prevail. So we look forward to serving the state to ensure in the words of John Dewey, that schools are not places set apart in which to learn lessons, but are truly the social centers of community life. Thank you.